This is how you can make a text summarizer command using your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord here, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do is click the link in the description below to get to the website right here, and then there's going to be a button right here, or you could just click on the pricing tab at the top, and then just go ahead and subscribe to the basic, which has 1,000 API requests per month, and it's free, so just go ahead and subscribe to that, and after you're done with that, go ahead and go back over to endpoints. From here, you can actually go ahead and scroll down. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to show my API key, but you can go ahead and get your API key, and you can copy it. We're going to be using this later. So then after doing that, we can go over to community, and we can go ahead and create text summarize.js, and here we're going to get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. And after doing that, we can do const axios equals require and we're going to go ahead and get axios make sure you install that otherwise this is not going to work next we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our data which can be our new slash command builder then we can go ahead and set a name for me this is going to be text summarize and we can go ahead and say a description we can go ahead and say summarize text and we can go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be text and we can go ahead and set a description here we can go ahead and say the text to summarize and we're going to go ahead and set required to true we can go ahead and add a comma we're going to do async execute so we can go ahead and pass in our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and defer a reply here and we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true that way only you can see this message next we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction we can also get our text variable so we can do const text equals options that get string and that is going to be our text string then we can do const input equals we're going to open up a new object we're going to get method which is going to be post then we can go ahead and get our url and i'm actually going to go ahead and copy this in you can go ahead and get it from the website in the description below the website you were just at to get the api key once you get that, we can go ahead and get our headers, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We can do our content type, and for me, this is going to be application slash JSON. Next, we can go ahead and get our X, our rapid API, and we can get our key. Now, I'm going to put this key in at the end of the video so that... I don't actually have to blurt anything out in the code. Just go ahead and get that API key from the website in the description below and go ahead and put that in. So next we can go ahead and get our host. So I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this in. It's going to be X rapid API host. And this is also going to be in the description below, or you could just write it down. So then after doing that, we can add a comma and we're going to get data. We can go ahead and open up a new object. We're going to get text and that's going to be our text variable. And we can do our number of sentences. So this is going to be how large your summary wants to be. So for me, I'm just going to put three. Now you could do more than that. You could do five. You could do one. This is basically going to be the length of your summary. And I think a three sentence summary is pretty typical and standard when it comes to summarizing. So that's what we're going to go ahead and make our base summary length uh, in this code. Next, we can go ahead and make a try and we're going to do const outputs. And we can do equals await xios or request, and we're going to go in and request our input. Now that we have our output, so we have our summary, we can just go ahead and send it in an embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. I'm going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be blurple. And we can go ahead and set a description. All we have to do is do output dot data dot summary. So we're just going to go ahead and put in that summary. That's all we have to send. And then we can actually go ahead and do await interaction dot edit reply. And we're going to go ahead and edit in our embed. So now we've gone ahead and put our summary in our embed and sent it. Last step is to just go ahead and catch an error. So we're going to go into console.log the error just so that you can see it as a developer. And we can go ahead and edit another reply. And we can say content. We can go ahead and say there was an error. And then we can go ahead and say try this again soon. Then after doing that, we are actually done with this entire command. I'm going to go ahead and put my API key in now. If you haven't already, go ahead and do that. 
And after you do that, we can go in and save the file, restart the bot, and test this command out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go in and test this out. So we're gonna go in and get our text summarized. So I've just gone ahead and put in a pretty large paragraph on what artificial intelligence is. So this is gonna be pretty annoying to read, and we're just gonna go ahead and summarize it with our bot. So we can just go ahead and click enter, and as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and think. Now, depending on the length of the summary or the paragraph that you put in here, it's gonna go ahead and take longer. So for me, it actually went ahead and summarized it, but that was a pretty big chunk of text, so that's why it took so long. So it's gonna go in and say artificial intelligence is the intelligence processed by the machines under which they can perform various functions with human help. With the help of AI, machines will be able to learn, solve problems, plan things, think, and other things as well, etc. In the field of technology, artificial intelligence is evolving rapidly day by day. So it went ahead and took this chunk of text and it made a summary about it so you can understand what it's about. Now, like I said in the code, it is three sentences. So we have one sentence here, then our next sentence is right here, and our final sentence is right here. So it went ahead and made a three sentence summary based off of the chunk of text we provided. So you can make a text summarizer command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and you can come hang out with us and with that i'll see you guys in the next video